When I hear nano, I think of small, tiny flies that are going to spy on me or something. I don't know, you know, or they can go inside your body for, you know, to cure cancer and stuff like that. My name is Kevin Bertzell. I'm the Raisin Gang boss, yep, yep. Down there, they took care of us. They covered everything in stone when we came in. All the anchor bolts were right on the money. That's the, like the backbone to the building. That's what the uh, first column set on. If those aren't in the right spot or whatever, then the building's not gonna come up straight, you know what I mean? If you just look up there and see the guy way up there, you might think that you could do that, but it, it takes a special guy to get up on the iron because uh, it's a really, really dangerous business, you know? The 100% tie-off, I preach it to my guys because they want to go home at night. And it, it, it's a split second and you, you'll be going down, you know what I mean? You gotta be careful, that's all. The erection part of it, you just put a couple of bolts in and make it safe and then you move on to the next piece. Then you have guys come in behind you and they bolt up all the iron, they put the right bolts in. Then after they get it bolted up, the deck gang comes in. Once they get the deck down, two lines, two safety lines go up around the perimeter to keep anybody from walking off the edges and stuff like that. Then the detail guys come in and they detail all the holes, all the openings for all the pipe work and all the elevators and all that. They have different uh, like bent plate on the on the iron with, and they'll, or they'll have to put some stuff down to keep the concrete from pouring into the hole once, once they pour the concrete, you know, meaning on the deck. So those guys come, the stud guy comes in. A stud's like a, a six inch uh, piece of iron, it's about this big and he shoots down thousands of them over all the beams. And that fastens all the beams to the deck and to the concrete. And then the rod buses come in and they start putting down all the mesh and all the rebar. And then the concrete guys come in, then from there on the carpenters and everybody else can come home and go to work. You know, I mean, hundreds of guys. So you just keep going up from there all the way to the top. I'm a local 7 iron worker, a proud local 7 iron worker. I've been for 25 years and uh, it's a good local, it's a good brotherhood. We take care of each other. You know, we do a lot of community stuff and um, go local 7 iron workers. <laughs>